April 9th at Swing Dance Sally with Emily. So the first thing I was seeing was the arms and the turns. So the normal arm is called zero. If you do a right hand turn, we end up with double cross left on top. My left arm, her left arm, two crosses, double cross. From this, somebody can turn left. So if she turns left, then we go back to zero. If we start from zero and do the left turn, then we go the other direction. Now we are double cross right on top. So from double, double cross right on top, you can go to zero and the other side, which means you can turn right twice. From here, right on top, turn right twice, you go to left on top, double cross. Normal crossway to turn from here would bring us to zero. Because normal crossway to turn is one turn. If you do that again, so from here, normal crossway lead turns us to zero. If, we, if I step on the left side and turn her left, which is crossway lead, then we end up with the minus two, go the other way. So it goes to zero and then goes the other side. So from one, two, three, five, six, seven. And so now we have double cross right on top again. Uh, from here I can turn right twice, she can turn right twice. We can turn right twice in a traveling crossway lead. If I step on your right and turn her right, that's her turning right twice for, for, compared to me. So right on top, we go, ta, 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 we are back to left on top. So we were doing those, and then from this, actually, which we can just reach here from just a single right turn as well, we did this kind of a copa, arrow copa. So we can reach that from single right turn as well, this was the handhold. We can do this kind of cover. And uh, if my that was both arms over. If I have one arm below, that becomes hammer lock and the arrow cover, standard arrow cover. We were doing that from that as well. And uh, let's see. One sequence I have is I do a wrap, I pull her, and then hammer lock, and from here again we can do the and that one, my arm was below, low, between wrap and hammer lock. And uh, once again, I go to the opposite direction. So one, two, three. So wrap, my arm was low and I'm on the left side of the track, turning her right. Uh, and if I was on the right side of the track, then I couldn't keep my hand low the whole time because it would be two turns. So from this wrap, if I'm on this side, left side, turning her right, she's turning once compared to me. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Going back to the same wrap, if I'm on the opposite side of the track and turn her again, if I'm on the right, turn her right, it's two turns, I will go over, under. So I will instead go one, two, over, five, six, under. And now from here again, so that brings us to the full sequence, which is one, two, three, five, six. I'm on the right side of the track, over, under, and then cop up. Oh, we travel a little bit oh. off to the side. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we also did, so that was wrap going into copa, but from, uh, so wrap going to hammerlock, but from hammerlock also, if we turn, then we, will, we can go into wrap. And we pull it with the hammer lock. So, so th these things come naturally. If I, we go in one direction, we go into wrap, keep the same hand, we go into hammer lock. And so it's used quite a lot in the various advanced moves as well. And we can add more turns to her and we can spin around her as well to make it even more interesting and harder. Okay, thank you. Thank you.